Hi everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be modeling a scooter similar to one of those Razor scooters that used to be really big uh, a few years ago. I don't know if they're still big now. I had one as a kid and um, I just I loved it. You know, it was great. So what we're going to start out by doing is we're going to create a reference image but we're going to do it a little bit differently than we've done before. Uh, so let's go ahead and shift right click and let's go to uh, polyplane, select our channel box, and let's just go ahead and take these and um, set these to zero. I'm sorry, one. One is the default there. And then we'll scale it up. Oh, sorry. R. Scale it up. Okay. Now I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down to new material. And now, oh, it doesn't look like my Arnold is loaded. Load Arnold. I don't know why Arnold doesn't load sometimes. If you want it to auto load, you can <coughs> just uh, start a new scene, then open up, tick this auto load, and then close and restart Maya, and it'll open. I do that, but then sometimes it doesn't it turns itself off. I don't know why, what error kind of happens there. I'm going to add an AI standard surface and then uh, here in the color I'm going to bring this up and go down to texture, AI image and then um, I'm going to copy yes. I'm just going to copy this path and grab my scooter.png image. Oh, the other thing we need to do is uh, go to the top view. And now that we're there, we just say UV and camera based. Okay. Now, if I hit six, you can see that my scooter is on my image right there. One last little thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control A again and hit delete by type history come here to my specular and I'm just going to turn my specular off. Now the reason I'm doing this is because um, I want to be able to, to move this around in different ways while I'm modeling. Oops. So, and I don't want to have the same issues uh, as as other um, times with you just reference images can be difficult at times. So anyway, that's our scooter. Let's go ahead and um, you know it's also not straight on. If I was using a reference image that was straight on, then I would I would um, probably use a reference the reference image thing here. But let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to switch into my front view, no, my side view, and I'm just going to go shift, uh, shift and right mouse button click and add a cube, and then I'm going to hit R, and I'm just going to scale that cube out. Okay. Now I'm going to go back into my perspective. So I can see that my image here isn't in the right place, so I'm going to uh, hit W, and then I'm going to hold D and X, and I'm going to snap it my my origin of my object here to the origin of the scene and then I'm going to hit E and I'm going to rotate this around and make that 90. Okay, now it's in the right place. I'm also just going to hit File, Save Scene. I like to save as ASCII and um, save it here to my directory. It just says Scooter. Okay, so as we can see, we have our object here, and I'm going to hit R, and I'm going to scale it out a little bit like this, and then I'm going to hit, uh, and I'm going to scale it in, something like that. Um, I know my scooter had, it was kind of beveled in here, so I'm going to right click and drag, go to edge, and I'm going to select these two edges and pull those in a little bit. And then 
Uh, ooh. Um, I'm gonna cut out a little bit, a little piece of it right here, because I know mine had a cut out underneath as well. So I'm gonna right click and oh, sorry, right click and drag, and go to object mode, then shift, right click and drag, go to edge loop. So let's pull up the tool settings, and let's change this. Make sure multiple uh, multiple edge loops is on, and change that to two, and then click, and you have two edge loops. Now. I'm going to double click on this edge loop to select the whole thing, hit R, and I'm just going to scale it in so that it's 100% straight. I'm going to do the same with this one. And now once those two, and then I'm going to shift double click on this one to select both those edge loops. I'm just going to scale it out here, something like that. And then uh, again go back to object mode, shift right click, and insert edge loop tool reset, and then I'm just going to bring this down to 1. Mm, I don't like that. Let's reset the tool so that we have the relative distance from edge. And let's bring it down to there. Okay. Then we can right click and go to object mode, and back to face mode, and select these faces. Oops. And delete and then right click and go to edge and select these two edges and then we're going to shift right click and drag we're going to come down here to bridge um, now I'm just going to reset my settings here which is that's actually what I want I don't want any divisions I just want to bridge and as you can see it creates a face all the way across and then I'm going to select these two edges and go to bridge and these two edges and I'm just going to hit G G redoes your last movement. Okay. Um, now, as we can see, there's these kind of uh, wheel holders. So let's right click and drag and let's go to face and let's select these two faces. Shift right click, extrude, and I'm going to hit W and I'm just going to extrude those out. Like that. Okay, and right click in object mode. Um, and then see the top. Okay, so a couple things I'm noticing is that um, we have this shape right here and we have this shape right here. But before we do any of that, let's take care of our wheels. So I'm going to shift, right click, and drag and go to poly cylinder. Now here in my inputs, Let's change that to 16. We're not concerned with too high up resolution. And then E for rotate, and let's rotate that around. Just input 90 and hit enter. And then W, and we will pull that back. And now let's switch to our four view here. Here's our front. So I'm going to hit R, and I'm going to pull that in. And I'm going to hit, actually that doesn't look too, too shabby, something like that. But you can see, I've got an issue here. So let's pull this back here and then we'll right click and go to vertex on our butt peg piece thing. We can just pull those back. Okay. Uh, let's just finish up on the wheel real quick. Let's uh, select that, right click and drag. Um, actually, no. I'm going to. Here's what we're going to do let's go to the side view, right click and drag, and go to face mode, select all these faces in the middle, but not the ones around there, and hit delete. Now, right click and drag, double click on both the side edges and then hit control E and we're just gonna pull it in like this okay it's thinner it's kinda like that alright and now let's shift right click and let's insert an edge loop I believe this one two edge loops just like that and then we'll select both of these edges and bevel edge. Take the fraction up to one, the segments to three, 
I can drag, oops, and then just select it all, shift drag click, merge, and go to merge vertices. Okay, now why did we do that without the inside? Well, now we're going to select this and hit shift D, um, and then we're going to shift select our image, and we're going to solo those. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the existing geometry that to then create the wheel spokes. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down the middle and I'm just going to focus on modeling one side and then we'll mirror that over. So let's shift right click and go to edge loop and sorry that's an old habit to just reset everything so that I know it's right. Oops. Okay, these are all operations we've done before. So edge loop. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shift right click and go to extrude and I'm going to hit W and I'm just going to extrude this out a little bit. So you can see that there's, it kind of is extruded out. Um, and then I'm going to hit G for repeat the extrude and then I'm going to pull this in. Um, and then, let's see here, how do I want to play this? I'm kind of, I'm, as I'm looking here, I'm also looking here at this wheel. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and let's hit uh, G again and let's pull this in one more time to about here. And G one more time and we'll pull it into here. Yeah. And now let's go ahead and go to face mode and let's select all of these faces. We're not going to make this completely accurate. And then control E, but turn this keep faces together off. And now um, hit the, I think it's, yeah, the offset. So let's say 0 0.01. As you can see, then it it insets each of the face. Let's go 0 0.05, zero uh, 0.03. Okay. Pull that in, and then we'll hit G again, and we will pull all these out this way. But let's hit V while we're doing that, and we can actually snap it here to our vertices. Now the last thing, while we have all of this selected, let's hit delete. Okay. Um, and now let's select this face, shift select this face, hit delete, and then shift select all this, hit delete. What are we doing on time? 14 minutes. Uh, the last thing is, let's grab these faces. So select one, shift double click to select the ring, control E, for extrude and pull it out just a little bit. And then let's go into edge mode, which is right click and drag, uh, double click and hit W. And then holding V, and I'm just going to put my mouse over a vertice here and middle mouse button click, and it didn't work. Come on. Okay, when this happens, this is a good teaching moment. Go back into object mode, go edit, delete by type history, and then modify freeze transformations. Right click and drag. Now try it again, and it'll work. Maya 2017, for all of its glory, is kind of buggy. It really kind of it, it cheeses me off. Um, all right, now let's go Control D to duplicate, and then we'll scale it in the X uh, in negative one. And as you can see, that scales over. So we'll, we'll select both of those. Come here, uh, Shift, right click, and drag to come down to Combine. And then right click, go to Vertex, select it all. Shift, right click, merge vertices, merge vertices. Okay. So that doesn't look too shabby. 
Um, now let's shift D, let's duplicate what we just did and let's um, solo it and then let's go shift and go to face and select these two faces uh, this face ring and hit delete and then this face ring and hit delete and then double click on all of this and delete that and right click go to here and delete now why we've done this is because this is now our peg that goes through everything so we can hit R and we can scale this out like that this is probably too big for real life but we're not going for super realism uh, now you can see that one side is black one side is silver or gray that's because the normals are off so I'm just gonna go to faces surfaces no ah mesh display and reverse there you go and then uh, yeah let's go ahead and just shrink it down um, so if we want to just shrink in we want to do in the X uh, what is that the Z and the Y we can just grab this little widget and shrink that down to about there and then just for good measure we'll select both of these and face I'm just going to delete this in the middle to make my life easier. Select this uh, ring of edges here. And we want this to, to insert, but we don't want to do extra work. So I'm just going to hit W. And I'm going to hold down W and left mouse button click and go to Axis Normal. Um, oh, and then I need to go to right uh, Control, right click and then say two vertices, two vertices. Okay, now with the normal, we can actually pull them in. And if I don't like that, and now to reset my, my move tool, I'm gonna hit W, left click, and go to object. And then I'm gonna right click and go to edge and double click these. And holding V, I'm just going to snap them back into place. Bam. Right click and drag. Okay. And last but not least, let's add a bolt. So let's go to Edge, double click, Shift, right click, and go to Extrude. R for scale, scale it out. And then, um, and then let's go shift right click for extrude again, and let's pull it out like that, and then G for extrude again, R for scale, scale it in like that, and then G and R, scale it in, and shift right click, merge edges to center. Okay, now let's, let's just uh, select all these vertices, make sure I don't select any of the ones I don't want, and W, just pull those back in like that. Um, and then I'm going to get rid of this edge loop, double click on this, and then shift right click and go to bevel edge and add three segments. Now I can I can just uh, shift right click and go to insert edge loop. With one edge loop, I can click oops, four, eight, eight. I don't know what's going on there. So that puppy. Huh. 
Well, let's just hit face and let's just select all these faces and delete them. And then right click, and go to edge, select all those edges, shift right click and extrude, W. And boy, it is all about the bugs, huh? Whenever you encounter a bug, just delete the history, freeze the transforms, and then hopefully that bug should go away. Also, a good thing to do is just save. Now that we have half this, let's control D for duplicate and scale it in the X. Select both and combine. Let's shift right click and combine and then merge those vertices together. Alrighty. Hit five to go back. I'm oh, sorry, six. You have to hit six in order to see our image plane. Okay, now let's do this piece. So let's select our wheel and hit shift D. And then let's hit R for um, scale and let's scale it up mm, until about there. And then right click and go to Grab this one, shift right, shift double click, delete those, and then let's delete these. And then double click and delete these. Okay, so now we have kind of the break shape. Let's select these edges. I've selected the whole thing. So select this edge, come over here and shift double click to select from one to the other edge. Shift right click and extrude. Hit W. Let's extrude this out here and down into, into the um, scooter base. And then the other thing I'm going to do is hit R and I'm just going to scale that so that it's flat. And I'm going to hit scale it this way so you can see what's going on. So I, I'm scaling it like this a little bit. And I'm just going to move it that way. Now I'm going to select this and kind of move it. And this, I'm just going to move it up until it kind of feels right. Um, now I'm going to select these. And we're going to use the soft select. So I'm going to hit B for soft select, and then while I'm holding B, uh, I'm going to middle mouse button drag, and I can select and see how much I'm going to move. So I'm just going to come up here to about there, hit R, and I'm just going to expand that out. Five. Something like that. Okay. Hit B to turn off soft select. Now let's select these. And shift right click, extrude. Extrude those out. Uh, no, let's not do that one. Uh, the last thing we're going to do is double click and go shift right click and extrude. And we're just going to pull it out along the normal, just like we've done before. Um, and then we're going to double click. Mesh display reverse. And, oh, see how it's kind of weird? It's funky looking there. Select everything. Just go to face, I'm sorry, edge. Select all the edges. And then shift right click and go to soften edge, soften edge. And those will go away. All right. That's that. We're getting pretty close here. I don't, I mean, most of that's pretty simple. Um, so now let's go into our side view. Hit six. And shift right click, polycube. Let's just move that polycube over. And I don't know, what is that, like a 30? Like if this is vertical, is that 30 degrees there? So let's try rotating. Yeah, let's call this 20. Let's see, 20 degrees. No. 
So to make my life a whole lot easier, and your life, um, I'm going to move this over here. First thing I'm going to do is face, select, and I know when I select, I select everything that goes all the way through, even though things I don't see. So I know I've selected this bottom face, then I can control right click and deselect these top faces. And then I'm just going to move this down all the way through. Uh, no, I'm going to move it. Move it to right about there. And then I'm going to grab this vertex and move it up. Okay. Now I'm going to um, come here to object mode, shift right click, go to edge loop. I'm going to add an edge loop and then I'm going to grab my edge and I'm going to select all these edges and then deselect all the ones except for that one and then shift right click and go to extrude and hit W and I'm gonna hit W and I'm gonna go to world here I, I'm sorry that was W left mouse button click and come out and then shift right click and extrude and W and I'm gonna just kind of now using G and W I'm going to kind of make this shape. I'm kind of just looking at the shape over here and what I see. Okay, and to ensure that this is straight all the way up, I'm going to select all these edges and then deselect all of this and shift right click, extrude actually just uh, hold down V and snap these over and they will snap and then W or select it all and shift right click merge vertices and now I can do that next thing I'm going to do is go to face and I'm going to just delete all these faces um, and now I'm going to go back here all right so let's double click on all this and go to Mesh Display, Conform, and then double click on all this and Mesh Display, Reverse. That looks not half bad. Um, I'm just going to scale it out this way. Now, uh, there's a lot of different ways I could go about this. First, let's delete this edge. Shift, right click, delete edge. Okay, now I'm going to double click. First, I'm going to cut this down the middle. Shift right click, uh, insert edge loop, and just add one edge loop right down the middle. And then shift right click, face, select those faces, and delete them. And now I can select this edge loop, and I can just go um, fill hole. And then, let's solo this for a second, and let's delete this, it's just extra. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this edge, shift right click, and I'm going to go to the slide edge tool, and middle mouse button drag, and I'm going to drag it up until it's about even with that down there. Um, now I'm going to right click shift right click and go to my multi cut tool and I'm going to cut across here finish that cut and then I'm going to just cut around all of these pieces like that 
doesn't have to be perfect. No one's when this all gets smoothed out, um, it'll all be okay. Oops. Again, we're just and now now that I'm here at the top, and if I was to go around these, uh, it would look funny. So instead, I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna go down here to the bottom. Right click and right click. Now let's right click and shift right click and go to edge edge loop tool and let's add one here and then let's go to face. First let's take a look. Okay, so it's kind of like these are two separate pieces that are joined there at the bottom. So we can select all of this. And right click and go to edge and then select. Hang on, we just deleted too much. Not that one. Do it all except for these bottom two. And now we can right click and go to edge, select these two, and bridge. And then double click on all that and say fill hole. And then we can just connect it all up. So this one, we go to the multi cut tool. just cut all the way up. And now that that's done, we can take these, we can cut all the way down. Um, and this one I'm just going to toss in there, just uh, this one too. Alright, because that's on the inside, we won't really see that. Now we can go Shift D, and let's edit, delete by type history, modify, freeze transformations, scale it in the negative one, shift select both, combine, right click, and merge them vertices. Alright.